Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th. So, 9th happens to be my daughter's birthday, one of my daughters, and Mother's Day. So, happy Mother's Day, and obviously, happy birthday to my daughter. Um, anyhow, um, my nails are off, just so y'all know, I'm planting and uh, so I had to take them off and they, if you see any little dirt on there I'm not gonna scrub because I'm, I'm gonna be planting some more so there's no sense in me scrubbing like crazy anyhow um, so yeah uh, what else what else was I gonna say I know that I have about I think I have five more signs to do you know the updates for May um, I'm sorry they didn't get done today I took my little papoose my younger daughter and I call her Papoose um, to the outlets today so that's what she wanted to do so that's what we did now we're, we did what she wanted to do and now I'm doing what I want to do so that's the way it goes so anyhow um, yeah so those will get done I haven't forgotten anybody I do them as I am called to do them I don't do them in any particular order if sometimes I do I do them in different orders whatever I do them how I see fit so anyhow I know that I have four or five I think I have five left to do I'll check it out when I tonight when I'm sitting down at midnight anyhow and those will I'll be working on some of them tomorrow okay so let's get started what do we have for a message today what do we have for a message for around the night? Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and I have to keep saying that because these readings play out with, for me in a few days. That's the typical. Typically, if, you know, I'd say three days to a week later. Um, could be the next day. Could be the day of. It really, the end, timing is fluid. So, what do we have for a message? What's coming in? Ace of Swords. So aces are new beginnings. It is truth. It is power. It's the raw truth. So it's an awakening, uh, taking a new approach, communication of some sort as well. This is the hand of God giving somebody some sort of, maybe there's an explanation coming or some sort of communication coming. This is also, also the sword that cuts. This sword cuts through... Uh, tension it cuts straight to the truth so there's some sort of truth here ah judgment reversed so there's ah whew, interesting that's that's dishonesty this is a poor judgment call um, lack of awakening this is a wake-up call the ace of swords is a wake-up call this is a lack of awakening um, consequences dishonesty uh, but the truth is coming there's karma here bad karma poor judgment a need to move on from a poor choice uh, somebody is is struggling to release they need to we've talked about this judgment is a card of release it's a card of an ending but there's there's been some lack of judgment somebody may have been unaware of the truth or they made a poor judgment call and there's consequences for that or there's uh well it's an unforgiving energy with judgment reversed uh, poor judgment call here comes the truth that that's also the sword of power this is uh, it's interesting because with the justice card that's the that's the laws of karma that sees straight through a situation and for me judgment and justice are very similar because they both involve like the court system you know in the court system there could be a higher court you know a higher than even the uh, you know physical realm okay anyhow I do believe that there is some sort of need to move on from a bad choice. There's been a lack of awareness. Somebody hasn't been answering the higher call. Uh, <sighs> hmm. Oh my God. 
This is the Two of Cups reversed about a partnership, okay, about a union, okay. There's there's some sort of dishonesty about a union here. And, and I got to tell you, I know people have a one-track mind. I got a comment on one of my readings. I think it was this morning or last night. Why are these readings all about love? Trust me, my readings are not all about love. And all of you guys that watch me absolutely know that. This must be a newbie. Anyhow, um, the, when the, when we have the Two of Cups or the Lover's Card, it could be it's any type of union. This could be a friend. It could be a, a mother, a father, a child, somebody that you work with. This is an uh, uh, incompatible, uncompatible partnership. Okay, there's a lack of truth, there's dishonesty, there's lies, there's consequences, there's uh, disharmony, and this is detaching from a partnership. That's what's coming. Somebody's going to be detaching from a partnership that is just not compatible. It's not compatible. Now, this could be with anybody in your life that at one time it was compatible. This is the sword that cuts straight through the truth, cuts straight to the point. Okay, that is a point. This is straight to the point. Somebody may be making a point or needing to accept something because judgment upright is a card of acceptance, of absolution and resolution. But in reverse, there's a lack of acceptance here. And the Ace of Swords is acceptance. So I do believe that we have somebody here that's going to get some sort of wake-up call. This is some sort of truth or epiphany um, about a partner that, that at one time there was harmony. At one time there was compatibility. But I don't think there is anymore. When you get justice in, or judgment in reverse, it's like there's no resolution in sight, Right. And I feel like uh, there's a need to wake up and accept the truth about this partnership. Okay? This could, this could be a divorce. It could be losing a friend. It could be bullying. But there is some sort of separation here. Okay? A separation between two people that no longer see eye to eye at all. Princess of Pentacles reverse, so Page of Pentacles reverse. This is a dead end, okay? This is lack of c commitment. This is lacking common sense. Somebody, and this is doesn't want responsibility as well. So both of these cards represent, I don't want the responsibility of a commitment. Somebody doesn't want to commit to a partnership. And it's time to accept the truth about the situation. If they don't want to commit to it, let them go. Um, <clears throat> somebody's just not interested. They are not interested. And that is the truth. It's not practical. It's not realistic. We have somebody here that has lost sight of their awareness. They've lost sight of the truth. Because they were thinking they were, or hoping that there was going to be a reconciliation. But there's truth here. You have, it's time to accept the truth. There's no, you can't go down a path where there's a blockage. There's, there's, there's something, the tr there's a blockage. The blockage is probably another partner or, uh, Just laziness. Somebody just doesn't want to. They're not interested. Ugh. Four of Wands reversed. So this is, this party is over. This is an unhappy commitment. No commitment. The end of a commitment. The end of a partnership. Somebody does not want to engage. This is a messy situation. It's, it's time to... Uh, Basically, stop investing. Don't go down that path anymore. Turn around and go the other way. This is, uh, I don't know if we have a, we have a, sep well, we do. We have some sort of separation here. Somebody is in separation with a friend or a partner or a family member, or they're going to be going through some sort of separation. We have somebody here that is, it feels like they're just not interested in commitment. They're not interested in engaging. They're not interested in reuniting. They're not interested in getting together. They're not interested. Accept it. Four of 
four of wands reversed is no reunion, no getting together, not interested in this partnership or the friendship or, or the union. Somebody's just not interested. They don't want to be in it anymore. That's the truth. I do believe there's going to be some sort of truth that comes out. And, but I feel like there's there's a, a doubt here. Like somebody is is doubting that it's the truth. It's like disbelief that it is the truth. A three of cups reversed. There's no reunion here. This is There's no getting together. This definitely could have to do with friends. It could have to be do with a third party situation. It could have to do with uh, third party interference. Um, there's no uh, emotional growth here. This is not happy. There's no celebration. There's nothing to celebrate. There's This is uh, a termination. It could be a termination of a friendship or a relationship. That's, that is what we have here. We probably have some gossip as well. This is parting ways, three of cups reverse. Parting ways from... Uh, a partnership because there's I think there's a third party you know three's a crowd we've talked about it before there's no abundance okay there's no abundance there's no happiness there's no um, celebrating you know there's and I feel like somebody's gone overboard I feel like they've gone overboard they've engaged because the four of pentacles is some sort of engagement with me. They've engaged with another person uh, that they shouldn't have engaged with. We may have somebody here that has a wandering eye. I do feel like we have gossip as well. We have somebody here that is lacking common sense. I'm sorry, but the page of pentacles reversed is lacking common sense. By holding on to a third party situation or a friendship where there's no compatibility and I feel like there's gossip right people are getting together and talking it feels you know three of cups reverse could be bitchy women <clears throat> Death. Now, death is an ending. It is a profound change. It is a transition, transformation, separation, and loss. So we do have a separation and a loss here that is coming. Somebody is losing something. They are. They are. They're losing something because of... Uh, we have. I feel like we have somebody here that is dropping out of the commitment. There could be some poor health here as well. With judgment reversed and the page of pentacles reversed. I feel like there could be somebody here that is not in good health. And there's guilt as well. There's some sort of guilt here. Somebody is guilty. This is guilty. Three of, I mean, uh, three. I was going to say three of swords. I don't even know why. Anyhow, uh... They're, the, the judgment reverse is guilty. So somebody is guilty of, I don't know, engaging in some sort of gossip or uh, third party situation that they shouldn't have. This is a poor choice. They made a poor decision. But there is some sort of cut. This is in it. Something is going to be cut out. And this is an unplanned situation. There's a lack of planning with the Page of Pentacles reverse. I feel like we have an unplanned termination or an unplanned loss, an unplanned separation. I feel like this is a messy situation. I also feel like the, there's a lot of partying going on. There's a lot of uh, socializing and um, bitching Anyhow, we do have an ending here. It is a major ending. I feel like there's been a delay to this ending, but the ending is now, okay? Somebody is parting ways from a relationship that they no longer want to be committed to. They no longer want to engage in it. This isn't fun anymore.
It's not fun. Now, the death card is an ending with a new beginning to follow. So there is a, there is an ending here. I think it's an unplanned ending. And it and it may have to do with lack of forgiveness. Somebody does not forgive what somebody has done. There's no forgiveness here, right? I mean, that's what that is. I don't forgive it. I'm not there's no forgiveness. I feel like there's a lot of partying going on as well, but the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups, those both represent get-togethers and partying. I'm wondering, you know, there could be a get-together, somebody goes to a get-together and they see somebody uh, flirting with somebody else or engaging with somebody else or talking about them or something like that, and it, uh, you know, reveals the truth because there is some sort of revelation here. The Three of Cups can represent social media as well, so somebody may see something or hear something about on social media. Anyhow, there is an ending here. This is the death of a situation where there is no compatibility at all. Okay, and I, there could be an argument. There seriously could be an argument about a third party. And um, and it may have to do with a party or a get together, you know, something about getting together because and there's no chance for reunion, no chance for reunion, no chance for reunion, no chance for reunion. We got three cards that state that. Okay, so there's need. There's a need to accept. There's a need to accept the truth. There is some sort of truth that is coming out. And there definitely could be a fight. We have the five of wands. So this is a competition. It is a fight. It is a battle. It is tension. It is strife. So there's probably going to be a conflict. Somebody's going to be engaged in some sort of conflict. I think there's a lot of people around. Um, or there's been a lot of people involved. There's drama. This is drama. They've been engaged with some sort of dramatic situation. I feel like uh, this whole situation is about to dissolve, put it that way. I think there's going to be a conflict that causes a change. And I think it has to do with the competition. It has to do with a competition. Who wants to compete anyway? To hell with that shit. Anyhow, this is, I feel like this is the end of a competition. It is, it is a time of transition. Somebody is transitioning out of a partnership where there's a lot of bitching. There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people butting their nose in. And there's no reason to go down that path and even try because there's so many lies. There is lies. We got somebody here that lacks integrity. Ace of Wands reversed, an ending, somebody, this is going south, it's not working out, something uh, did not materialize, it's not materializing, somebody is putting out a fire, you know, this is putting out the fire, it's, 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 uh, no desire to engage in this at all. This is a dead end of some sort. Somebody has been weighed down. And they're putting out the flame. They're putting out the fire. It's like, I'm done. I'm done. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is very emotional. 
in her feelings, his or her feelings. We have a, I feel, feel like we have an emotional release because death is release. I think it is going, and I think it's going to be extremely emotional. There could be some tears that are shed, and I think it could be a lot of tears, just being honest, over an ending. Somebody is, and I feel like there's words, there's words, somebody says the wrong, wrong words, and it, maybe it gets overheard or something like that. It's interesting, because right when I said that, in my head, I said to myself, one wrong word and you're out. And that's, that's me. Okay. That's me. I mean, that's my, my stance. If you have uh, one wrong word and, and this is blocked. So one want wrong word and it's over. That's, that's my, of course I'm the queen of swords. I am the queen of pentacles, but I'm very much the queen of swords with four planets in Gemini. And I'm right within one minute of being Gemini. So anyhow, um, this is a cut. It is a cut out. Somebody is cutting somebody out of their life. What's the opposite of death? Life. Somebody is cutting somebody out of their life just like that. And they're moving in a new direction. I think this is going to be an emotional loss. Somebody tried to uh, force something. Oops. Cups is again very emotional, very, very feeling. We have somebody here that is headed towards something more emotionally fulfilling. They are. They're headed towards a partnership where there will be love. Okay. There will be equality. There will be love. There will be a mutual love. There will be uh, more something. These two people will have something more in common. I think we have somebody here that is following their heart as well. I feel like they are following their heart in a new direction. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have fire. We have everybody anyway. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it doesn't really matter because I feel like we have somebody here that has made a poor choice. They have made a poor judgment call. And they probably um, have engaged themselves in a situation or said something that they shouldn't have said. It feels like they get caught. And now it's over. We endings lead to new beginnings. This separation, because these cards come after the death, the separation leads to a harmonious union. It does. It does. With somebody, this is a soulmate. Okay, when you get two, and it is and, and soulmates can be friends, soulmates can be parents and children. Okay. We have two people here. This is after the ending, after the death. After the, because the death comes first. After this death, we have a partnership where there is two people that are both very spiritual. These two people are both very emotionally available. They want, they will come together and they will be on the same page, put it that way. But it comes after the death. I do feel like it's going to be a very emotional release. It is extremely emotional. We have somebody who here who is acting on their feelings. 
They are not going to continue to go down the path that they've been going down. It may have to do with drama. It may have to do with friends. It may have to do with family. It may have to do with a lover. I do see a separation from an incompatible partnership that leads to something that is very compatible. Love, okay? It leads to love. Ooh, we got temperance on the bottom. Temperance is exchanging. It's exchanging something lesser for something better. This comes after death in the tarot deck. So yes, this is accepting. This is going with the flow. This is a need to be grounded, but it's also a need to be fluid. You are going to be receiving something better. It's a need to allow and accept the death. Elite, it is. And, and the death is a partnership that is not compatible because there's, I don't know, drama, third party. Accept it and move on because there's something better right here waiting for you. Release. This is about compromising, okay? There's a need to compromise. No, and don't point to the other person that you can't accept that is not interested, okay? It's about you accepting that they're not interested and moving on and allowing because there's obviously a reason. This is a card of purpose. There's a reason. Obviously, there was talking behind somebody's back or there was a third party or there was another partner or this person just wasn't interested for one reason or another. Accept it because there's something better. This is a change. Everything happens for a reason. This person came into your life to teach you a lesson. The lesson has been learned. It's time to move on to a better life with a partner that you will have a very lot in common with. That partner is right around the corner. Literally. It's as soon as you accept. Acceptance is right here. In the first two cards and the last card. Okay? Acceptance comes first. So if you are that person that cannot accept that something is over, the timing's on you and that's why the timing is fluid as soon as you accept the truth that this person is not interested you will come together with some whether it's a friend or whoever it is you will come together with somebody that you have a lot in common with and it will be beautiful but acceptance comes first the timing is in your hands Good luck.